Improvement of the Foot Pedal for Vector Welding New York 2500 When TIG welding, precise control of the welding current is essential, especially for fine work or varying material thicknesses. However, the supplied foot pedal of the Vector Welding New York 2500 has significant limitations that make precise and flexible current regulation difficult. Problem 1, Limited Adjustment Options the foot pedal allows only a limited adjustment range. This is 10A to 160A at the minimum potentiometer setting. 10A to 200A at the maximum potentiometer setting. This means that finer adjustments in the lower power range are not possible. Problem 2, Nonlinear Regulation The control of the current via the pedal is not uniform. This means that small movements of the pedal do not always result in a proportional change in welding current, making operation imprecise. Problem 3, Quality Issues with the Cable The cable of the foot pedal is already damaged upon delivery. This can lead to malfunctions or even a complete failure. These limitations make the original foot pedal unreliable and impractical for demanding TIG welding tasks. However, this is where my solution comes in. An optimized circuit that expands the adjustment range, enables linear regulation, and provides a more durable solution. I will explain exactly how this works later in the video. Wiring of the foot pedal To understand the functionality of the foot pedal, we first analyze its internal structure. For this, we open the pedal and create a circuit diagram of the key components. The foot pedal consists of three main components. One. A 10 kilo ohms potentiometer, used to adjust the maximum current. 2. A 2.2 kilo ohms potentiometer, which detects the position of the pedal and thus influences the current regulation. 3. A micro switch, which starts the welding process as soon as the pedal is pressed. We consider the welding machine itself as a black box and analyze the relevant inputs without the foot pedal connected. The measured values are Pin 3, 15 volts with an input impedance of 2 kilo ohms. Pin 2, 9 volts with an input impedance of 1 kilo ohm. A crucial factor for regulating the welding current is the volt slash ampere characteristic of the device. Through multiple voltage measurements in combination with the recorded welding currents, we determine a characteristic of 38 millivolts per ampere. Based on these measurements, we conduct a simulation and develop an optimized solution. In the next section, we will examine the simulated circuit and demonstrate how the regulation can be improved. Circuit Simulation Based on the created circuit diagram, we conduct a simulation using LT SPIES. The goal of the simulation is to analyze the behavior of the foot pedal under various conditions and examine its impact on the resulting welding current. Simulated Scenarios 1. Stepless and linear actuation of the foot pedal We simulate a smooth and continuous actuation of the foot pedal using a parameter. We observe how the output voltage behaves and, consequently, how the resulting welding current is affected. Two. 10-step maximum current adjustment Simulation results The simulation results clearly reveal the same issues we have already observed in practice. Limited adjustment options The maximum current regulation only allows a restricted adjustment between 160 ampere and 200 ampere, making fine-tuning difficult. Nonlinear welding current regulation the output characteristic of the welding current is not proportional to the pedal position, leading to uneven control. In the next section I will present my solution that solves these problems and enables more precise, linear control. Solution To solve the problem, we must first precisely understand its cause. The main issue lies in the low input impedance at pin 2 of the welding machine, as the foot pedal cannot optimally drive the 1 kilo ohm load. To address this problem, we need to equip the output of the foot pedal, which provides the control signal, with a current amplifier. The easiest way to do this is to add a PNP transistor in an emitter follower configuration. After implementing this modification, we conduct another simulation. The results show a significant improvement compared to the original circuit. Maximum current setting is now adjustable between 65A and 200A.
welding current regulation is now linear, allowing for more precise control of the welding process. With this solution, the previous limitations are completely eliminated, ensuring optimal control of the welding machine via the foot pedal. For the modification, I chose a PNP transistor of type BC32740, as it was readily available. However, any other PNP transistor can be used, as the choice is non-critical in an emitter follower configuration. Installing the transistor. The installation is very simple. The middle lead of the 2.2 kilo ohms potentiometer is desoldered. The base of the transistor is connected to this point. The collector is connected to GND. The previously desoldered wire is connected to the emitter. Additional switch for maximum current adjustment. As a useful enhancement, I integrated an additional switch into the foot pedal to make maximum current adjustment easier. This switch is wired in series with the micro switch inside the pedal. Function, as long as this switch is turned off, the welding machine will display the set current, but will not start the welding process. Advantage, this allows for precise foot pedal adjustments and can also be used for practice purposes. Test results. After completing the modification, I tested it on the welding machine. Maximum current can now be set between 63 and 196 ampere. Starting current is 16 ampere. Welding current ranges. At maximum setting, 16A to 196 ampere. At minimum setting, 16 to 63 ampere. The welding current regulation is now linear relative to the pedal position. Since I am extremely satisfied with the results, I also replaced the cheap original cable with a higher quality, longer rubber cable. Thank you for watching.